uh, John chapter 8, verse 46. <laughs> Which of you convinceth me of sin? <laughs> and if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? Oh, <laughs> he that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, <laughs> because ye are not of God. <laughs> now, you have spent the last eight years... <laughs> trying to convince me, yes, of being a domestic abuser and a child abuser. Mm -hmm. And every time you issued a protection order, mm -hmm, it happened to violate the rules of the court, the requirements of the law, yes, and the laws of the United States. <laughs> <coughs> you want to say, yes, that I was in Squim when I wasn't. Mm -hmm. You wanted to say that I was in Brennan when I wasn't. Mm -hmm. You wanted to say that I was mentally ill or mentally defective for knowing the truth of what you've been doing. Mm. Now, for every one of you <clears throat> that has a badge on, I'm going to sue you. Mm -hmm. Now, when you intentionally mm -hmm, have arrested somebody that happens to be on probation, yeah. Why don't you get me all the probations, yes, of all the mental health evaluations, oh, of all the accusations of violating restraint provisions, oh, <laughs> of protection orders, yes, and dissolutions of marriage, mm. where somebody said, well, we're just going to get him, yeah. Now, uh, I did acknowledge and did understand, right, the conditions of my unsupervised probation that allowed me to travel back to Clallam County from the island of Guam, yes. And then when you alleged that I had violated the restraint provisions when I had contacted the only domestic violence charity, mm -hmm, asking them, did you get the conditions of the of the probations from the Attorney General on Guam. <laughs> Did you get the counselor recommendations? Poop. This idea of conspiring to commit hate crimes? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not the only individual that you've done this to. Yes. See, sometimes, well, let's say I'm in court. <laughs> I've noticed that in the enforcement of the laws of the state of Washington, quite often the judge will say, well, the the maximum sentence for violating the restraint provisions of the serious crime per se, yes, is 365 days in jail and a $5,000 fine. Right. <laughs> but you get five days served in jail and probation for 360 days. Oh, <laughs> and then you pay court fees and fines as well as the public defender's expenses. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, this idea of having somebody arrested when you know that they're on probation. Yes, because you just don't like them. Oh. <laughs> I think that there's a large class action lawsuit. Yes, for the false allegation of committing a crime. Yes, because you want to get rid of somebody. Pop! And it could be that every time you arrested them, not for the initial allegation of violating the law. Yes but the subsequent allegation of violating the law, yes, and the violation of their probation, oh, 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 <laughs> that you had them do mental health evaluations because you said they were crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you get me all the probation officers in the United States of America, mm -hmm, as well as my probation officer on Guam? Yes, because as I remember our discussion right now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Somebody would just try to suck the soul right out of me. Now, for any probation officer, yes, well, you know that the individual on supervised or unsupervised probation I, <laughs> actually was doing what the conditions of probation were. Mm -hmm. And somebody was going to be malicious and getting rid of the individual. I'm going to sue each and every probation office in the United States of America for knowingly allowing for the arrest of the false allegations right now. Give me every fucking probation officer. Excuse me. Those that have badges on. Oh, did you want to convince me of a crime that I didn't commit? <coughs> did you want to believe the lie of the devil? <coughs> oh, 